boys, welcome to my winter arc. This is going to be so demonic, this is going to be so crazy, and this is going to be epic. I've got the entire gym to myself and the beautiful man behind the camera. Last time I did a video, I don't know if you know Tom, someone commented saying we need more of that beautiful boy behind the camera. Really? Swear down when you like showed your face hey, last mums. video. Mums. So yeah, we got a bit more of that beautiful boy behind the camera. So, my winter arc, alright? My winter arc is beginning today, and I've got a really big announcement to tell you, but not this video. I'm going to tell you in the next video, okay? And it's going to be fucking epic. <laughs> now, boys, what we're going to be doing today is a bit of the old bench press, because J. Daver's winter arc is consisting of one thing. The J. Daver is coming for that 160 kilo bench, all right? But my actual goal is about 150 to 155 by Christmas time. I know it's a big jump. My current one rep max is 140. And currently, I probably can't do 140 kilograms because that was quite a while since I last did 140 kilos. So the winter goal is to get to 160 by the end of the winter arc and 150, 155 by Christmas. So we're gonna get on that flat bench. It's been a very, very long time. I'm really, really excited to get training. They got some big fucking goals this winter. So you boys, your winter arc is starting right today as well. If you haven't started your winter arc yet, it's time to start that winter arc. That's those, that's those oversized hoodies. That's those baggy joggers. By the way, these are the retro joggers from Gymshark. Code Joel. And this is a heritage little like cut off hoodie. I don't know, do you boys like it? I don't know, but code Joel on anything Gymshark, you're gonna save yourself 10%. And anyway boys, let's get into this session. This is about to be demonic. Like this little non-slip mat. kilos, memory reboot on, it's gonna be easy. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. How do you feel, boy? Easy. All right, obviously I haven't benched in a little while. My previous max was 140, so I'm not gonna go for a max out today because it's my first time benching. That would be absolutely ridiculous. But I probably am gonna put 110 on the bar and just see where strength's at. Gonna go for a decent set. Gonna go pretty close to failure, probably not. Probably failure, to be honest, and let's just see how it's fucking moving, to be fair, boys. Three. Yep! There you go. Nice. Go. Good. Good. Uh. Drive, drive, drive. Good. Uh. At least three more. Go on. Go on. Go on. Ah. Go on. Two more. Press, press, press. We go on. Go on. Good. One more. Go on. I'll spot you. Go on. Yeah, my fuck! <laughs> ah, my foot! Oh, lit! Ah. Oh. Boys, because I haven't bent in so long, my leg press was literally non-existent. Then I literally, my feet did just did not feel stable at all. <laughs> Bro, my foot slipped on this. And I was down here with you. My sack was in your face. It felt good. <sighs> All right, boys. Now, obviously, that set was a little bit shabby, but it's gonna be. You know, I've been out of benching for a long time. But one of the main reasons why I wanted to set myself for this goal of benching is because I know that I find it hard. I want to go up to 140 with so like 
It was just so amazing, like, it was such a sick feeling. Like, it was that like, delayed gratification, like all those hard benching sessions, and then I get that big 140. And then I kind of just gave up because of how hard the sessions were leading up to it. But I just want to get back into it, you know, because like the hard sessions and then getting that big one rep max or getting that big number that you've been chasing for so long is like such a sick feeling. Like, I've been kind of hiding from the hard training at the moment. I've been going like bodybuilding, like just easy, you know, sitting on the, sitting on the shit chest press, just bang, bang, bang. It's fucking easy, man. So I'm back on the bench press and it's gonna be a good little series, boys. Because I promise you, when I put my mind something on the bench, I'll be able to get it. 150 to 155 by Christmas. I'm literally saying it right here, right here, right now. Honestly, want to get back in the technique, want to get back in the swing. It's gonna be fucking brutal, boys. Yep. Hold on. Good. Four. Good. Go on. Good. Go on. Give two more. Go on. One more, one more. Go on. Drive, drive, drive. Go on, all you, all you, go. Good. Love me. Holy fucking swalmus. Fucking hell. Two sets of bench press in. Looking absolutely fucking jacked. That's just, look at, this is me on the edge of the lens, by the way, boys. If I come in the middle, that's realistic. But look, this is actual nice little pump going on. Also, wearing the Gymshark wife beater vest. It's not called wife beater, obviously. It's called rib tank, code Joel. Fucking hard, mate, look at that. Let's fucking go. So the way I'm currently training at the moment is gonna be kind of like a bit, it's gonna be more towards bodybuilding, but it's gonna be kind of like a power building approach again. So I'm gonna be doing like some big heavy movements. Not gonna be doing squats just because I feel like they just really don't work for me. Like my body type just isn't suited to squats. But like on my push days, I'm gonna be doing bench press. And on one of my leg days, I'm gonna be doing a deadlift variant. So essentially I'm gonna be going like kind of power lifty on those, just trying to increase my numbers as much as possible. So for like when I can get some big one rep maxes because I'm bulking right now. So I wanna make the most fun out of my training because obviously when you're in prep, bro, you cannot do any big lifts like that. That's, that's not how prep works. So in my bulk, I wanna take advantage and do two lifts like that. So we're gonna be working on my bench press and a deadlift variation. So hopefully gonna get those numbers up real big. For my deadlift goal, I'm not really sure what number I wanna hit at the moment. But yeah, that's the way I'm gonna be training at the moment. I'm gonna be doing a mix of powerlifting and bodybuilding, but mainly bodybuilding with just a little pinch of powerlifting in there. Anyway, let's move on to the bodybuilding part of this session. Yeah. 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 
Boys, we finished up training. I've got myself an Oreo protein bar. These are absolutely busting. And yes, I did pay for it, even though the gym's closed, because I'm an absolute G like that. Guys. Now, obviously I was like, I was just being like a little bit cringy at the start. But generally, in the winter is like the perfect time to actually make as many improvements as possible. But there's not really much to do as there. Like in the summertime, you've got like offices to go hang out with your friends, you probably go on holiday. All that kind of stuff. The winter, bro, it's fucking freezing. You're not going to be doing anything else, so you might as well just be working on yourself. I'm not just saying the gym only. Should I stop eating? I'll stop eating. Give me a second. All right. And I'm not just talking about the gym because you don't want to be a fucking gym cell whose only like thing is the gym and all you're doing is focusing on the gym because let's be honest, the gym is a very small portion of your life. Well, it's a large portion of your life, but like in the large scale of things, you're not gonna be a very complete person if what you can talk about is how much you bench or if he's natty or if he's natty. You're just gonna not be a very complete person. So in your little, little winter arc, you wanna also be focusing on yourself. If that's working on a business, working on a side hustle, if that's like reading a couple pages of a book every single night, just making sure you're leveling up in your mental state as well, not just your physical state. Because if you wanna be like the best complete version of you, you wanna be mentally on top and you wanna be physically on top. So I recommend you like try and learn yourself like a new skill, whether that's bloody knitting, I don't know bro, like, literally anything, just try and learn yourself a skill because, <laughs> what was it, is it a thousand hours it takes, how many hours is it to master a skill? <laughs> Basically, if, I'm pretty sure if you do something like 10 minutes a day, you can master it in like a year or some, some bullshit like that. But what I'm trying to say is, just make sure you are like trying to level up as much as possible this winter, physically and mentally. So once you've watched this video, I want you to go away and I want you to just think about what are your goals going to be this winter. I want you to have one section for the gym, I want you to have one section for like mental, like a skill, just a random skill, and then I want you to have one for like a business slash side hustle. So get those goals written down, it's winter time, I want you boys to grind just as hard as I am and I want you guys to stay up there with these videos and make sure you are grinding as hard as possible and just trying to become the best version of yourself this winter all right so i'll see you boys later love you all and peace out <laughs>